Yep. Exactly what you see. I got a brief story to tell you about this. <clears throat> Excuse me. I mean, yesterday we decided to go visit Mother at Vanderbilt, and we actually left here a little later, which is fine, because both the Goodwill Shop, where I got this clock radio, and the Great Escape, which is probably the best music store ever, both open at noontime. I mean, we went last week, but this was like 11.30, and they weren't open yet. In my opinion, if you don't go to open till if you don't open till twelve, why not just stay closed for the rest of the day? Because people have things to do and shit. But that's but that was then. This is now. But yeah, bought this at the Goodwill shop. Like I said, price was a buck ninety nine. And funny story about this one: there was another one exactly like this, but it was blue tag for six ninety nine. It's like fuck no, I ain't paying that much. Fuck, what the fuck are you fucking about? But no, in fact, I actually looked up at the ceiling at what color tag was, and it's like the red tags were half off, so I got it for a lower price of a dollar. So yeah, another GE clock we had to add to my collection. And this is a model number 7-4625A, made in Singapore, date code 1108, so I'm guessing it's between 1978 and 1981. It looks like it too top, nothing special. I will have issues about the um, controls. I'll show that off shortly. Wait a sneeze! And on the back, I did not notice it until just now, it's got the little dimmer switch. So... Yeah, it needs a little work, but contacts may need to be clean, but kind of like you don't want the thing blinding your eye, but so yeah now about why I have an issue with the uh, controls I actually like it if you had a lock button, because sooner or later you're going to be bumping up your, your your clock, and then you'll be hitting the well, or if you accidentally hit the fast, so yeah You'll just advance the time a little bit. And I just ruined it. But, yeah. Well, let's just go through the dial to prove that it works. And for some reason, it doesn't sound like all the other GE clock radios I have. The sound kind of sounds tinny. Conversation at the table. And he comes over. He's like, I'm so sorry for interrupting. Oh, and before I forget, you're going to hear morning talk. <clears throat> Because uh, this week, and until further notice, I'm going in at night. So, yeah, the clock is about, now it's about 6.30, and, well, I messed it up. But. Some drinks. And she was like... That's what they say can have made for. And uh, asking questions. Pretty indiscriminate, right? I mean. She was Tell me that was not the new face of country. We're in trouble now. Get your floors. It's springtime. Plus, you get to the system. Serving the area with fiber. You went to Taco Bell and got those nacho fries. Ha ha ha! I went to Taco Bell! Bitch, I didn't go to Taco Bell. Shut up! Space options. Always something to do. Tour, taste. For AM. Doubt I'll get anything. Yep. Your 
with Moore. She's our White House correspondent. You know what? Just for shits and giggles, let's try the alarm. Well, I'm going to kind of set to music alarm, so... Maybe this will work, maybe it won't. I don't know. Well, we just wait. Like the last time. Well, that was awkward. Partly because A, the alarm doesn't work, and B, you had prints, and I really don't want to have a copyright! So, yeah, I'm going to end it right now before I go any further damage. So, with a Circa 7881 GE clock radio, model 7-4625A, dollar fine from the Goodwill shop in Nashville. So, yeah. So, I guess until next time, I ask you thanks for watching, and the comment box is open. Oh,